the big risk that all this plastic that's already in the ocean, you know, this stuff has been there up to 60 years, right? So, so really the microplastic that we see today uh, used to be the large objects just a few, few decades ago, right? So if, if we don't take out this plastic now, all of this mass will, you know, which by the way today is still mostly large objects, will fragment down into smaller and smaller microplastics, which, which then of course end up in the food chain and in, in, in the fish we eat, which you know, potentially threatens the health of, of three billion people. I think what the world really needs now is, a, is an example to show like, you know, problems are there to be solved. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is how you do it, not by you know, complaining about it and pointing at it, but uh, by using our, our brains, our ingenuity and our perseverance to, to actually um, solve it. So this is where we have our four cameras positioned. So you've got a view all around the deck. So hopefully we get, uh, we get some good angles and some nice shots today. Um, what they're up to at the moment is that they're just preparing to, uh, to actually start that pulling process. So th they've approached the back of the retention zone. They've caught hold of, a, of, there's a buoy or a buoy, I guess, if you're American, on the back of the system. Uh, they've got hold of that and they've brought it onto the deck and they're just getting ready to make that connection um, and start pulling. All right, and then it's going to be pulled over the, the back of the ship here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when they pull it at first, it, it acts a little bit like a drawstring on a purse. All of the plastic is in the back of the retention zone, but when they pull it, it also has the action of kind of closing the retention zone as well. So that's what stops any plastic escaping while we're doing the extraction as well. That orange uh, boy or buoy that, we're coming on, that is coming on deck now, that is the very, very end of the retention zone. So the retention zone has this uh, uh, arrangement of ropes that we can use to pull it on board. And then this boy is, is extended out from the back of the retention zone. And that's just to give uh, a nice big clearance between the vessel when it makes its approach uh, and the retention zone. So they've got hold of that. They're not going to pull the whole thing in by hand, of course. They're just picking up this small light rope at the end. Um, and then they're going to clip. Uh, once, the, uh, once the main rope is on board, they'll connect that to the, the yellow line that they have lying on the deck there and then it's time to pull. They're pulling now um, on, on that pickup line. And like I was saying earlier, that it has uh, two functions or it has two effects. So one is it's used to, to pull everything on board, but also when we pull it, it, it does, like I said, it acts like a, a drawstring on a purse. So when you pull it, it's gonna uh, yeah, have it like a closing effect on, on the retention zone and seal all of the plastic effectively in the back of the retention zone so that it doesn't escape when it comes on board. Looks like we have some action happening where the retention zone is coming on the deck. Yep. Does it look like this is the moment? Yeah, indeed, yeah. So, th yeah, there, there was a, a, a small pull earlier, and, and like I say, sometimes we, we, don't, we don't see and hear everything from here, so sometimes they need to make an adjustment for something, and then they'll just stop and take the time they need to make that adjustment so they're ready to go and, and do it right the first time. Um, so that's what they've done. Um, and this, yeah, so on the left-hand side, you, that's really the plastic that you can see. You see this kind of uneven shape, and that's because it's packed full of all of this plastic. This make you want to be out there? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's always sort of, the sea has definitely a, a great appeal for me, and that's also motivating to, yeah, to, yeah, to make it cleaner and better, yeah. And I think it, it's also the size that you see, like you see a big lump coming on deck, but it's, it's sort of difficult to, to foresee how it looks on the deck in just a couple of moments, but also how big it is. And, and yeah. Because the size of the vessel, it's, it's over 70 meters in length. So, so it's, it's just special to see and, and also great that it's not in the water anymore. So we're going to pull it on. Uh, they're going to make a few connections on the deck. And that's going to mean that it's, yeah, it's like kind of uh, more or less fixed in place and it can't you know it can't slip out again and that's going to make it safe for the guys on board to go um yeah and, and basically split this section from the part that's in the water and then we'll release the part in the water and then we'll only have the plastics on deck and we'll be able to do the the, the dump the empty all right exciting so what are we seeing now is yeah so now this is on board now so the the plastic is now safe so that's the plastic that was in the grips if it Pacific garbage patch and, and, and never will be again. So that's a fairly satisfying feeling. It's all on board now. Um, I talked about them having to make those uh, um, connections to, to hold everything in place um, so that they could uh, 
they could release the part that's holding the plastic from the rest of the system. Um, so they're, they're making those connections at the back of the vessel now. We can't see them actually because it's behind the, the, you know, the, the huge pile of plastic that we've just brought on. Um, and yeah, and they'll, they're just preparing to make that disconnection. The lines that you see, uh, yeah, in the image on the top right, you can see two, two lines that are coming down from the top of the screen. Uh, and they're the ones that we're going to use to lift, uh, and they're coming from the cranes. So in the, in the four images that you see in the top left, you've got these two cranes that are sticking out that we're going to use for the lift, and there we, we see they're going to start to kind of get everything in position now. Um, and then we're also going to have some other lines coming from further back on the deck that they're going to just make sure nothing's swinging out of control and also that we're holding the opening open so that the, the plastic can come out. Okay, so they're lifting it now. We're getting closer. This is, <laughs> again, this is like a really nice bit to be on board as well because like I said, when you see it coming over the stern, you get this big noise. You're going to see everything fall. It's a steel deck. The whole deck oh, is shaking oh, underneath here it you is. as well. This is it. This is the mission. This is the impact. This is all of the plastic. Wow. Boyan, what do you think? How is it? extraction number 100? It's cool. I mean, it looks exactly like 5,824 <laughs> kilos. So I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> uh, no, it's a uh, pretty sizable catch. It's, you see quite a lot of nets, so that's good for the kilos. Um, yeah, I mean, it's no always always magical to see that. You know, think, realizing that that would have been in the ocean for possibly centuries <laughs> if we wouldn't have taken it out today. Yeah, it's um, it's a good feeling, and um, I always just think, I just imagine the the outrage if so sort of the reverse would happen if anyone would dump. I saw a video recently of some sort of you know, stupid college. You know, kids throwing a, you know, a bin of of waste uh, of their boat in, in Florida, um, and I was thinking, well, that that just got twenty thousand retweets or something like that, wow. um, and that's like maybe one kilo of plastic. <laughs> so, uh, so now, of course, this is kind of the the reverse of that, but that on a much larger scale. So, um, yeah, this. It is very, very special and um, yeah, just exciting every time.